think the biggest thing is the realisation when you're, you know, an athlete from the other side of the world and you're going there to compete is that all of the athletes there, they're all just human and they're all got, they've all got two arms and two legs and they've, the ones who really want to be there and be successful are there because they really want to be. Like they they've created that environment and their lifestyle and their situation. And for me, that was probably the biggest part of that learning experience is seeing, you know, like a Michael Johnson who's winning the double gold in the 200 and 400 breaking world records and just watching the process that he's going through and, and you know, seeing those kind of, scenarios and you know you're watching you know Carl Lewis who's on his fourth Olympics winning a fourth gold in the long jump and you know there I am stretching on the steeplechase with him in the warm-up and he'd been my idol since I was a little kid you know and I had cutouts of the newspaper stuck on my bedroom wall and then there I was kind of stretching on the steeplechase with him at the warm-up track and you know we're having a conversation so yeah they're, they're pretty good moments where you can look back on and think oh, yeah, you know, I got to that kind of level and it was worth the effort. So, um, you know, of course, our performance-wise, we always want to do a lot better. In hindsight, there's so many things I wish I had a little time machine I could go back and have a chat to myself and be like, don't do this, do this. Um, but, you know, that's my opportunity to do that now as a coach. I can prevent a lot of, um, hopefully, poor decision-making from some of these athletes. Yeah.